investigations for aneurysm. There are three important investigations to visualize and detect the site of the aneurysm, which are duplex ultrasound, CT angiography, and the MR angiography. Differential diagnosis. Differential diagnosis other causes of pulsating swelling. The main feature of aneurysm is expansile pulsation, which means expansion in all direction. This should be differentiated from any pulsating swelling which may be due to transmitted pulsation. What is the transmitted pulsation? Artery, femoral artery. And accidentally, lipoma arises in this site. The pulsation of femoral artery produces transmitted pulsation in the lipoma. But this is not expansile, not in all direction. It is pulsating only in one direction. Plus, if you push the swelling away from the course of the artery, the pulsation disappear. Proximal or distal compression of the artery affect the size of the organism uh, of the aneurysm and affect the size the pulsation of the aneurysm. Compression or distal distally or uh, proximally or distally on the artery does not affect the lipoma. Therefore, transmit pulsation, it is only pulsating in one direction, not in all direction. Pushing the swelling away from the cords of the artery, the pulsation disappear. Proximal compression or distal compression on the artery does not affect the size of the swelling and the pulsation in the swelling. Some uh, also uh, the second some um, tumors may be pulsating. Example osteosarcoma in the upper part of femur may be pulsating. Upper part of femur in the course of femoral and is suspicious with femoral aneurysm. But pulsating a tumor is irregular in shape, irregular in consistency, and there is areas of the tumor are hard. Sure, the tumor is not cystic, not compressible. The swelling may not along the course of artery. Sure, the tumor has a limited mobility, not like the mobility of the aneurysm across the course of the artery etc. The most important and difficult differential diagnosis is arteriovenous fistula. Arteriovenous fistula produces swelling along the course of the artery, pulsating, but it will produce machinery bruit and continuous cell propagating both distally and proximally in the veins. And due to high venous pressure, there is secondary varicose vein connected with artery. Therefore, there is pulsating varicose vein. And sure, as we mentioned in arterial venous fistula, due to increased venous return, there is reflex tachycardia and the compression of the fistula leading to bradycardia which is called the Brinham's bradycardia test. Acute abscess. We mentioned in the complication, any acute abscess in the anatomical site of artery should be examined for pulsation to exclude infected aneurysm. What is the treatment of aneurysm? Aneurysm liable for complications and liable for rupture. Therefore, most aneurysm requires surgery. 
especially if the size of the aneurysm more than four centimeter. It is markedly distended and liable for tach rupture. According to the importance of the aneurysm, According to the importance of the aneurysm and the anatomical site of the aneurysm, we can do one of these techniques. If uh, the area is anatomically safe, no liability of injury of important surround structure, example, femoral aneurysm in the femoral triangle, it is easy to excise the aneurysm. and replacement by graft therefore excision and the graft is a standard line of treatment if the area is anatomically safe but if the area is not anatomically safe full of nerves branches of nerves and the liability for injury of these nerves example popliteal aneurysm in this case, to minimize manipulation, it is enough to exclude the aneurysm. Ligation above and below the aneurysm with bypass graft. What uh, occurs later on to the aneurysm? The blood coagulate, organized and fibrosed, and the fibrous tissue shrink by time and the swelling disappear. In uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm, by open surgery or by, or by uh, endovascular surgery, we can insert a graft or a stent inside the aortic aneurysm without excision of the aneurysm because excision of the aneurysm leading to injury from important surround structure. Therefore, by open surgery, we can put a Y-shaped graft like that, or by endovascular surgery, we can insert a stent inside the, inside the aneurysm. If uh, the aneurysm occurs in unimportant artery, example radial or ulnar, this is enough exclusion of the aneurysm from the circulation by proximal and distal ligation without grafting because it is unimportant artery. Therefore, exclusion and the grafting in important area, important artery with dangerous anatomical area. If the artery is important, exclusion and grafting. If unimportant like radial or ulnar, exclusion is enough without grafting. This is a treatment of aneurysm in general. Good luck and thank you for good listening.